Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness, I might need your help. Where's all your? There's your insurance right there. So that. Where was, were you born? Uh, where are you born? Yeah. In the Philippines. Where at? Um, Carmen Cagayan de Oro. Where's that at? It's in uh, Misamis Oriental in Mindanao. Okay. Have you been in the Philippines? Yeah. I've really? Been there for three years. Uh, or yeah, three years. Where? Clark Air Base. Oh, in Clark, in Luzon. Yeah. Mm hmm. check my my oversized permit because I was oversized coming from Georgia. Did you do an inspection like paperwork inspection or did you do a did you I think six months ago because I got a sticker here in Canada. I'm good. How are you? Good. You're working 24 hours here? Open? No. Okay. I close it so here's my authority book. Okay. Again, uh, what what should I provide for this one? The one that you give it to me? What you're gonna buy is one of these, but you don't want to pay is for the trailer. This is for this is a last temporary Alaska registration. Uh-huh. And you're gonna pay ten dollars, not three fifty. Don't pay three fifty. But get it on the trailer registration. Only this, ten dollars? Yeah. Yeah. And that's a thirty day registration to go in and out of the state as okay. many times you want. Okay. So uh this is for over dimensional oversize. So oh, okay. So it's I legal. don't I don't know Single why drop. I don't know why they oh. got this. It's a self permit, like they'll let you go up to 10, like 10, six wide and... And then where, where I can buy this one? Uh, right here. You Online? You'll, yeah, you'll get it online. Oh, I don't have a credit card. Either. So, anybody anywhere can do it, but before leaving Toke, you're not in violation unless you leave Toke without it. So okay. You, you can go to town and get your... And ha is it everything in here? Yes, everything is there. And one thing, um, what is the hour of service here in Alaska? 11 or 15? You can drive 15, and you can work 20, and there's no 30 minute break. 80 hours and eight days. Yeah. No 30, 30 minutes break? No. You just go straight? No. And we like it if you take uh, 10 hours instead of eight hours off before coming into the state. So you can get your 15. Did you take 10 hours yeah, off? Yeah, I got 13 hours, I think 13 hours last night. So that means you got, I'll count back and you can drive up to 15, 15 if you hours. want, if you're tired. Toke's a good place to, to rest. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh my goodness, I might need your help. Where's all your, there's your insurance right there. So that one was easy. $15. So I'm gonna pay $14. Because it's kind of confusing on my e -log, it pop out 15, sometimes it pop out uh, uh, USA South. Uh, well, you got Canada North, so there is similar to Alaska. So I choose the Canada North? No, when you're in Yukon, yeah, but when you're in Alaska, you choose Alaska. Oh. So. There is no Alaska there. Can I grab some candies? Yeah. Where were you born? Uh, where are you born? Yeah. In the Philippines. Where at? Um, Carmen Cagayan de Oro. Where's that at? It's in uh, Misamis Oriental in Mindanao. Okay. Have you been in the Philippines? Yeah. I've really? I've been there for three years. Already yeah, three years. Where? Clark Air Base. Oh, in Clark, in Luzon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just before. You were a serviceman before? Yeah. Just before it blew up. <laughs> an, Air, an Air Force? Yeah. Okay. Because my uncle was an Air Force in Clark before. Gen man from really? Sacramento, yeah. Yeah, it's a small world. I figured you're born in the Philippines. I said Mindanao, but you kind of have you been there? No, have you heard it? Not, no, I've never <laughs> been to Mindanao. Yeah, we have a missionary that we support is in Mindanao. Oh, okay. So he's he, he's uh, a Christian. He does a children's ministry, and he had to, since Mindanao's uh, largely Muslim. He had to get their permission to minister there. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So he it's... walked into the mosque and he asked them. And at first they said no, and he was really nice and started teaching all the kids and stuff. Then they said yes, and he built his ministry right across the street from them. <laughs> yeah. So they, they seemed to get along okay. How long have you been in the service? Uh, just four years. Four years? Yeah, Is it mandatory in the U.S. to serve? No. I just wanted to do it. I wanted to go to Europe. I was trying to go to Europe. I wanted to see, you know, where my ancestors are from, um, from Europe. But they, where? They didn't, I don't know. Uh, Britain, Britain mainly, but then Scotland. But they wouldn't get, let me go over there. Because so. I work, I worked in Europe before. Did you? Where Last two thousand thirteen. I was my our base was in Latvia, just close sure. to Russia. Oh. But we drove around uh, Norway, Sweden, Germany, except Russia and uh, London. Latvia. Latvia, that's close we to. We have, we had troops over there. Where were, where were you stationed? Oh no, I am a truck driver. Oh, okay. I thought you were on a mil in the military. Yeah. Over there in Latvia, I didn't think, I didn't think the military. You know, I know the U.S. I didn't know Canada. Have you ever served in the military? Yes. Where at? In the Philippines. In the Philippines. So I didn't work with the army very much. They were on our base. They guarded. Uh, one of the gates, but I, I did work with the security guards. They were dressed in green. And they were older men, like, man, they knew, uh, they remembered World War II and the Japanese and everything. I left, man, when did I leave? Was it night? Let's see, I thought I went over there in the 80s. See, I was 18, so it had been 84, 85, and then I left around 87. And then we left the base, I think around 90, 89 to 91, because Mount Pinatobo blew its top mm -hmm. and burnt the base down. But I have one question for you. Do you have any relationship in the Philippines? Filipina? My, <laughs> no, I don't. But uh, my my brother just married a Filipino girl. Oh, really? Yeah. And from where? I don't know where she's from. Uh, He's also serving in the... No. 
Oh, okay. Now, he, she was came to America and lived here on a visa and went home to get married, and now the Philippines are making, uh, checking my brother out, make sure he's not a bad guy. <laughs> they won't let him have her for about it. She can't leave the country for a year and a half, which is kind of strange. But I understand it. They're just trying to be safe. Yeah. Okay, we got this. Now I need the... Um, I'll need the registration for the trailer and annual inspection. So you want me to to get the trailer? Unless it's in here. You said I thought you said everything was in here. I, no, no, it's the on the trailer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it. Oh, my company is from Saskatoon, but I live in Manitoba, the, okay. the next province. Live in Manitoba. I'll need your driver's license next. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's my. I've been waiting for this one for two years now oh, really? to get it here. Big deal. I I asked some of the Americans in the mainland, uh -huh. what is the biggest state in U.S. Texas. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> they don't know Alaska. Yeah, Alaska is a little bit bigger. But you know what? On the highway system, Texas is seems like it's a lot bigger. Yeah, it's big. Yeah. It's like 18 hours to drive across it from the Panhandle over. Whereas Alaska, I mean, this is only, what, two hours, another six hours to Anchorage. You can go to Soldotna and I don't know, another four hours. So it makes Alaska seem smaller on the road system. Mm -hmm. well, that's one thing I can say for the Texans. They, uh, they've got the highways and the people. It's so busy there. Oh, yeah. I don't oh, my God. If you don't know how to read your maps, then you're lost because they build new, new flyovers. Oh, yeah. Oh my God! And okay. Is it safe to to park on the like to park on the rest area here in Alaska? Oh yeah. yeah we don't have any bad guys up here. That's good. Because I pass some of the rest there, but. The best, I, which direction are you headed? I'm heading to Wasilla. So, there's different places to park. Uh, where there's people, of course, uh, Fast Eddie's Restaurant and the uh, is a good place. A lot of truckers park at Fast Eddie's Restaurant. But I'm going to, maybe I'm going to stop here and talk. Yeah, it's really safe and there's breakfast and there's all the gas stations in town. You can park at some of them in the back. Vitus, I think, has got a little bit of parking in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Vitus, I don't think you can. You can park there, and you can also park at the Hub, which is another 2.25 hours away. Oh, I can't drive anymore. And, yeah, and you'd be yeah if you're tired, just stop here in Tok. I'm good here. Yeah, not right here. Oh, the Tok. We're gonna That's close, all? but Tok's only five miles. Up. Okay, okay. But yeah, you want to stop. I'd say Fast Eddie's restaurants probably where most of the truckers choose to stop. There's other places in town too, but are you married? Yes, sir. Okay. With three kids. Good deal. Yourself? Yeah. How about you? You're married? Okay.
Yeah. You're born and raised here in Alaska? No, I was born in Oregon. Lived oh. here quite a while. Oregon. Yeah. I lived in a truck with my wife for about 10 years. That's why we built the house. What is the best uh, attraction here in Alaska? Attraction? Yeah. It's according to what you're interested in. What are you interested in? Like uh, hiking. Because we're planning next year to, to bring my family here and my friends. Anchorage and Fairbank. Oh. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Oh my goodness, you got to get online. Two weeks uh, is enough here? What's that? Two weeks is enough. Yeah. So you've got Alaska land, you can see and you, uh, in Fairbanks, you've got uh, a shop called the Naughty, these little shops you want to stop at if they look kind of funny, because some of them are neat. This one's, uh, it's like burls, they call it the Knot Shop or the Naughty Shop. So they, everything is made out of burls, like cups and plates. It's kind of reminds you of the Philippines. You go in there, it's all wood, everything. So all the craftsmen. Uh, the Fur Exchange in Anchorage, uh, has is classified. It's a store and mm -hmm. it's classified as a museum. It's the only store in Alaska that's classified as a museum. Mm -hmm. So you can touch furs because most fur stores they won't let you touch the furs. And the owner will come out, see you touching the furs, and then instead of scolding you, which they will downtown, they kick you out of the store or downtown Anchorage. Right. She won't. She'll talk to you. She'll say, "Where are you from?" And then she'll start engaging you. So people, indigenous people from all over the state, sell their like handmade stuff there. It's really cool. And there's a place there. Uh, and where we can see the grizzlies here? Uh, you'd want to go to, I don't know if they have any, I think there's a zoo in Anchorage, and, and there's a rescue place out on the Terranigan Arm. They rescue bears and, and caribou and animals that get hit. And those, those animals get tame. You can't ever touch the bears. Yeah. But they had grizzlies last time I went there, and I called a moose over. They said he, he never comes over. So I was praying, Lord, bring that moose over. I want to pet that moose because, you know, I just wanted to do it. And he did. He came over, laid down, and just leaned up against the fence, and oh, everybody yeah. was reaching in the fence, touching this big, bull <laughs> moose. That was so cool. That was he, the people there said, that's extremely rare. So that was a miracle. Where is that? Uh, that's on the Turnigan Arm. I don't know what the place is. They rescue animals. It's an animal rescue. Let's try to find out. It's really cool. And if you're going to be walking around in the woods, you need a gun, of course. Need a gun? Oh, yeah. Oh. Like right now, the bears are still awake. So if you're out berry picking, like the one place here in Tok, uh, a lot of people will go is uh, when you're going down straight and then there's a long curve like this. We call it seven mile, it's that hill over there. As you start to go around the curve, there's a pull out there and then there's a road going. Well, that road goes way back in there next to a river and pops up on the highway way over here. You can walk on that. Okay. And there's lakes and stuff. Back How about there. wolves? There's wolves here? No, nah, they're pretty, they're pretty shy. Because I heard The bears will charge at you if, if you get close to their area. And you just gotta like. Just I see one of the documentary from YouTube. It the, the the guy was eating alive in Alaska. It's possible, you know. It's best not to mess with bears. Yeah, I, he was he was attacked during night. Yeah, bears are territorial where they feed, and our locals they hunt bears up there, so they have bear stands. They bring food in, a lot of food, like fifty-five gallon oh. barrels full of rotten meat and dog food. And it brings the bears from all over in there. So you don't want to go down in there at bear season. Oh. Because oh, I'm not getting I'm having a hard time I'm trying to get your license. So your first name is Mark. Mark Anthony. Your last name is Malina? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see if I spelled it right. Uh, did I do it right? Did. Why is he in here? I'm closed. I know they're having a hard time, and so am I. Yeah, Manitoba puts in like a star asterisk, a bunch of marks in it, and a star, which is weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what do you got for bill of lading? Bill of lading here. Okay. So we have a Xerxes tanks 
good good man throughout the Minnesota, out of Edmonton, Alberta. Is that, is that a gas tank? It's a DEF tank. What did they use it for? That's for um, the, the, the truck. Like they mix it to the diesel. Really? Yeah. When we load fuel and then we load, there's another tank for DEF. That tank holds that? The big tank? Yes. Give this back to you. And now I need to see your ELD. ELD? Yes. Okay, uh, so give me your... Um, AK-31. Can you write it down? Yeah. Here, Do here. That. An ARADS, right? What's that? An ARADS? Yeah, I mean... That's an ARADS. There you go. AK-31. AK-31 is not working there. I need an email. Uh, try AK-41. AK-41? Doesn't work. There should be an email. Because I, 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 I tried, look, I'm gonna press the AK-41, but the sin doesn't pop out. So you were you able to send it? Yeah, yeah. I changed it to USA. Yeah, my officer code is actually 31. Which one did you send it to? Oh, uh, 41. Oh, you want me to send it again? No, no. That was my old number. Okay. Believe it or not, I've been getting it on 31. I keep asking them to change it. I tried to change it myself. But they still have me down as 41. Okay, you're not hauling any hazmat, right? No, sir. Okay, so we're done. Drivers. Got your driver's license back? Uh... Sure you got that before you leave. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I am going to print this off. <laughs> yeah, expect snow any night. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> How's the winter here? It's crazy. It's cold. It's not bad. Yeah. Minus 50? It can, yeah. Thank God. It can.